Okay, so then you run into Muhammad Ali, I guess at a magic shop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I prayed on him again, the importance of prayer and visualizing what you want. And so when I was at the drug dealer getting high at the free basin, he felt sorry for me. He says, man, you know what? You need to get with Muhammad Ali. I bet he like you. So I said, yeah. So I, so I started getting photos of Ali. I would bring photos into my room, get magazines on Ali. I put it all on the, in, the, in the room and on the, on the table. And in two weeks, less than that probably, uh, we went to Hollywood, a friend, uh, just to, because we were bored, and, and parked on the side street. And I remember this lady comes over. She didn't call me Raj. And then she says, hey. Ali's at the magic shop, and it looks like it's closed because the gate is closed. But just open, it's not locked, just open it up. Hmm. And my friend looked at me and said, you're a warlock, you know. <laughs> you're a war I said, no, this is the power of Christ. So anyway, I go in there, uh, and Ali is doing the magic tricks, and uh, and everyone's recognizing me and Raj, and Ali gives me this look. I don't know if you have you ever met Ali, but if he looks at you a certain way, a stir he can give you a look, man, that makes you feel like you're about a foot tall. Hmm. So he looked at me like, I'm the one here, you know? So I said, hey, no, 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 no more autographs. I'm here for Ali, you know, I'm here for Ali. And, uh, and uh, he couldn't have been more gracious and, and said, uh, do the laugh. Ah! You know what I'm saying? He just, <laughs> he, don't, he don't make a sound. Like, he just, you know, he just laughs like. So, do it again. Do it again. Ah! And, and uh, I said, you don't watch what's happening. He said, yeah, I watch the show. I love that show, you know? So, who would, who would think that Muhammad Ali watched what's happening, you know? Well, I guess he, he gave you his phone number. Yeah, he gave me his phone number, uh, said, do you need anything? And, of course, I was too proud to say I did. I said, no, I don't need it. He asked me right then and there. And I was with a friend who knew I knew. We were staying at the YMCA. So the friend looked at me, what the hell? And I said, oh, no, I'm good. I'm just here to see you, champ. I just want your autograph, man. That's all I need. And he looked at me like, he gave me that look like, you're full of it, right? Well, here, that's when he gave me the moment, in case you ever do. You know, okay. And it took me three months uh, to humble myself. And you called him. Yeah. He put so you come in a on over. He yeah. put you in a hotel room. But yeah, he had, well, he asked me to stay at the mansion. Ah, but really? when his wife looked at me, he didn't see her, but she was behind him, and she looked at me like, "Nigga, I wish you would. <laughs> I wish you would." And I went, "Uh, no, you know, I'll leave. You can put me up somewhere else, you know. But he asked me to actually stay in the mansion. Wow. So then he put me in a kitchenette at the Vine Street, Vine Hotel, Vine Street Hotel, right there on Vine, you know. And, uh, well, and he actually paid for your uh, eye surgery. Yeah, everything. Yeah. He basically underwrote everything. Like, look, wow. I'm supposed to help you. Joe Frazier helped me when I didn't have anything. So I'm supposed, don't look at it like, you know, I'm just another nigga trying to get bigger. Don't look at me as something bigger than that, you know? I'm I'm supposed to help you. That's this is for my for my for my place in heaven. My rent I have to pay, I have to give back. Right, because Ali was was Muslim himself as well. Yeah. He was yeah. Uh, eventually became a Sunni, a Sunni Muslim, right? Yeah, yeah. And so uh, did you guys connect on that level? Oh, uh, we did, but you know, initially he didn't know nothing about that. Uh -huh. You know, he just we I, I never mentioned that. Oh, okay. He I just said, you know, I'm I'm you know, he was just a fan of the show. And then when I got to the, the to the mansion, then I mentioned, you know, that I had a Muslim name and all that, but and he was not in, <laughs> he said, So what's your Muslim name? I said, Luke Mahan Muhammad Al Ghazali. He went, Yeah, that's deep. <laughs> <laughs> And everyone starts <laughs> laughing, you know. <laughs> and I went, damn it. You know, but yeah, so that's, he only knew after the fact, you know. Okay. And you actually uh, went on his uh, Muhammad Ali World Hunger Tour. Yes, yes. As a speaker yes, yes. later on. So do you guys kind of maintain a relationship after that? Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he really considered me, well, we became really friends when I called him up for a check. I said, hey, Ali, you know. Hey man, I need uh, some money for it or such such a thing. I don't know what it was at the time. And he went, he said, "Yeah, everybody want money, you know. They, you know, they can't go to, they wouldn't go to Sammy Davis and so and so and so and so. They know I'm gonna do it because I have a big heart, but no one thinks about my problems." I said, "I'm here. I, 
I, I could, I, I'm, I'm, I can be a friend. I, I, I love you, man. I said, just, I said, I love you. You can tell me about your problems, and that's when we connected. Uh -huh. And then he told me things I would never tell anyone. But I can say one thing for sure: he had a legal yellow pad of all the people he were paying things, you know, paying their bills and huh. their mortgages and car notes, and these are old cronies and all that. And uh, he did feel used, you know.